so i took subscription of speed and uh, i stuck on to the videos provided for, by the by the speed i mostly concentrated on the ini part of the coaching of the videos there are few ini uh, focused videos i bring in all the wishes and greetings on behalf of all the faculty members of speed medical institute to dr abhishek ap for scoring rank number 1 in aml in specialty super specialty of mca jena congo surgery in any ss session number 2025 congratulations to you doctor thank you so much sir thank you so much sir great to have you on board today for a discussion yes sir can we know a brief background from where you started till date what all you have done yes sir so actually i'm from uh, trivandrum kerala sir then i did my ug from government medical college thootukudi in tamil nadu uh, after that i did my ms in end uh, from aims raipur Uh, i also cleared the dnb and d during my time in, at, after my uh, ms in and d uh, then after that i have been working as a senior resident in aims kalyani now sir so Great. throughout this time i was like uh, trying for head and neck surgery mcl seat sir this time i have tried uh, able to crack it wonderful wonderful excellent yes. and uh, can we know uh, why mcl head and neck conco surgery why what inspired you why you got that kind of a special interest for that yes sir so actually sir Uh, during my time in aims raipur aims raipur al- also has mcs seats in head and neck conco surgery and these mcs candidates used to be within our department of end only so we i used to have a lot of exposure uh, with the head and neck conco cases and during my time during my 3 years of pg i found found it more interesting to work in and also be a part of the onco surgery op- operative team so during my pg time so itself i had decided that if i want to pursue something as a career i would be more inclined and more uh, i like to do something of that sort sir in mcs in head neck surgery great yeah now once you decided that you want to do mcs head neck conco surgery what you did how you started the preparation how you uh, made your uh, preparation and to reach uh, top most rank today uh, sir for my preparation the obvious strategy was uh, the only available uh coaching center is speed only sir so i took subscription of speed and uh, i stuck on to the videos provided for, by the by the speed so teja kandamani sir has taken amazing classes in speed so i mostly concentrated on the ini part of the coaching the, of the videos there are few ini uh, focus videos so my my focus was to get a seat in ini only i was not much interested in taking under neat ss so i was focused on ini ss and i, I used to watch videos which are focused on ini so i watched all all the videos then i tried to read there are no particular uh, head and neck targeted books so i uh, i tried to read uh, the head and neck part from devita uh, from bailey and also from shalan maran and our other end books i tried to cover all these books then obviously from the help of speed then i also gave a few gts i gave around 6 gts which are available uh, in speed also sir then uh, uh, something i would like to tell my juniors is that i took i didn't shy away from using uh, some ai tools i really took uh, advantage of uh, tools like perplexity and uh, notebook lm for my preparation strategies i try i i uploaded a few chapters and textbooks onto onto it try to do lot of mcqs from it try to make flash cards out of it i revised lot of points using these ai tools so that was my uh, also uh, for ini ini the lot of questions come from very recent advances like ongoing trials very recent and ongoing trials uh, then recent ata guidelines so i try to uh, be aware of all the all the all the advan- advances that are happening all the new new trials which are happening and also aims as a has a tendency to ask very recent trials so again i try to like go through all the existing literature to find what are the new trials which are happening right now so i kind of uh, force so so that there will be some question coming from uh, which drug is coming in this trial so i try to uh, predict such kind of questions also so so that's how i prepared mostly great so it's very very precise and to the point yes sir and that can we know the number of questions you attended this exam uh sir i don't know exact number sir but i think it's somewhere between 70 to 75 sir great now can we know uh, mm. about the paper the how was the paper uh, was there what are the more specific areas or important areas which are the areas covered can you say something on that understood sir so uh, this time i found that paper to be a bit more difficult than the last last papers uh, there out of the 80 questions 50 questions were from uh, core head and neck conco surgery and 30 questions uh, were from the general surgery part where it is proper core general surgery parts uh, and in head and neck head and neck surgery is proper like 
uh, it uh, there was a lot of questions from trials from the recent ata guidelines then staging management protocols uh, recent advances robotic surgery so uh, that that kind of format aims uh, question papers usually they kind of tend to follow all these formats the extra th the, the bouncers were from general surgery part the 30 questions which came from general surgery part honestly i hadn't prepared that much into general surgery but the only thing which i have uh, watched is you, you have put up a lot of uh, recall videos on youtube lot of recall uh, recall videos from i think from 2000 to almost 2020 to 2025 five years of recall sessions i had watched all those five to six videos which which is which is available on youtube and i had also like used the I, like i told like i used notebook lm to make notes out of your youtube videos and i just revised whatever you have taught in those youtube videos so, so you, you load the youtube videos in notebook lm it gives notes is it yeah yeah so i had i had uh, selected all, I, I think around 10 of your videos or 10 of your youtube videos i had loaded everything into notebook lm and asked you to make it into mcqs i asked them to make it into notes i asked them to make it into uh, flashcards so using using flashcards of your youtube videos i prepared for the general surgery part is, is it okay that you can share with me i can have a look at it after the yeah different that's with you <laughs> so it it took me only like around one or two days just one day to prepare for the general surgery part uh, so i i was able to cover maybe like 50 60 percent of the core topic of general surgery huh. that, sir, which i found is very useful for me in that way sir fantastic yeah can you share something on the interview? So interview, uh, so, uh, it was an online interview. There was a panel of uh, seven faculties. I think they're, they're all from Ames Daily faculties only, sir. Uh, so it was, for me, it was a very kind of formal interview. They didn't ask much. They were straight to the point. The, each faculty asked me a, a question each. Uh, I was, I think I was able to answer all the questions. Um, most questions were like a very uh practical oriented they, they they tell me like assume you are a ward sr in, in in the department something like this happens now how will you manage if an emergency comes like this then how will you manage all were like practical questions and uh, luckily since i i'm also coming from a background of head and neck surgery during my pg training i have faced such in uh, such incidents during my pg training so i was able to answer it like if such an emergency comes how will i approach that case up, up, up to that patient so i was able to answer that so all all of it were like proper formal questions nothing uh, there was no other informal questions great now what is that amount message that you want to give for the junior aspirants who are aspiring for mc head and neck surgery so i would like them to understand that it's uh, definitely a long journey ahead so if if you are re uh, you should be pursuing mcs only if you are really passionate about the subject and if you are if you are indeed passionate and if you are uh, ready to give uh, your sweat and blood to the department to the to your patients then you must follow it and i think it's a very very fruitful department to follow sir and i wish them all the best in the journey ahead great yeah. time to thank and whom all you want to thank that they helped you from day 1 till day to build yes, it. Definitely, sir. Uh, obviously, from the speed team, I definitely like to thank Teja, sir, and obviously, sir, uh, uh, for you, to you also, sir. I used to watch your uh, YouTube videos of like last three days, last five days, last ten days. I used to <laughs> always watch those videos. I found it very motivating. Your energy is kind of like contagious, sir. I like that. I really used to uh, like watching those videos. Uh, then, sir, then from my family, I'd like to thank my dad, my mom, and my sister. They were always there with me throughout my like such a long uh, career. And uh, after that, my faculties and my 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 seniors and my juniors in my PG training in Ames Raipur and also in my current department in Ames Kalyani. Especially, I would like to name my current HOD, Dr. Ajay Malik sir. He gave me ample amount of time to prepare for this exam. And also, I would like to thank my co-SRs who kind of like took on my duty and they kind of replaced me during the work hours, especially Dr. Faisal. And also, I would like to thank my friends, uh, Manasi, uh, Ajjo, Doro, uh, then Joyce, Shruti, all these people had like uh, took care of me and they supported me during my preparation time. So I, without them, it would have been would, wouldn't have been possible, sir. I'd like to thank all of them. Uh, it's they they are uh, so much imminent uh, needed for the success as much as my hard work also, sir. Great, it's a wonderful yes. discussion and uh, sharing of your experiences and uh, hope this video will be useful for a lot of aspirants. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you. Again, I wish you all the very best and all the success yes, for sir. a great career ahead in MCH. Yes. Best wishes to you. Thank you, sir.